He's Phoebe, and he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell so the hesitate. G'day, beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Ed. G'day, beer lovers. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, you will know that recently I did this questionnaire, a survey, and I got people to nominate their favourite beers, and they could nominate three brands. Okay, and then I said I was going to create a video to present the results. Well, this is the video. Right, now, because of my demographics, a lot of my Facebook friends are West Australians. You know, some are Australians, and there's international. So I thought I would give an award for each region, okay? All right, let's go to Western Australia, okay? Now, the comments I got from a lot of my uh, Facebook friends, they nominated Emu Export. Yes, that got the biggest number of votes. Now, Emu Export is a brand that's currently owned by Lion Nathan, you know, and uh, which is in turn owned by the Japanese conglomerate Kirin. Yeah, they're huge. It used to be brewed in Perth um, at the Swan Brewery, but production moved to the West End Brewery in South Australia back in 2014. Okay, now going back 30 years ago, that's in Western Australia, that's all we used to ever drink, Emu Export. That was the Bogan beer. You know, it was cheap beer, full strength. Okay, we weren't really VB drinkers. Okay, that was a, a beer that got very popular in the eastern states of Australia. So it was very popular in Western Australia 30 years ago, and then it just died. Okay, and that's when all the other cheap beers came in, like VB, and, uh, and a lot of the international beers came in here. Okay, so Emu Export lost a lot of friends during that period, but now it's coming back. Okay, um, that's Western Australia. Okay, now if you look at Australia, okay. It was actually a draw, the two favourite brands. The first brand is Bogues. Now, Bogues is a brand which is currently owned by the Lion Nathan Group, which is also part of Kirin again, okay? And Bogues is brewed in Launceston in Tasmania, okay? I get in tr into trouble when I say Launceston because when you go to Tasmania, they say you don't say it pr properly. It's supposed to be Launceston, but no one here in West Australia calls it Launceston, okay? Right, the other beer, most Australian beer, which drew with Bogues, is Carlton Draft. Now this beer brand is owned by the Carlton and United Breweries, which are situated in Melbourne, Victoria. And this is, in, is owned by another big conglomerate, as it's a South African conglomerate called SAB Miller. And Carlton Draft is mainly sold on tap in pubs and clubs around Australia. Yeah, you can buy it in, in stubbies and cans, but you know that's my, that's where most of the consumption comes from. Okay, let's move into the international beers now. You know, because from you know this is this, so this is really nominations also from my Australian friends, West Australian friends, and international friends, and the. It was a draw again. The two favourite brands. Now this will surprise you. Bintang. <laughs> Bintang. This is brewed in Indonesia. And it's part of a Dutch brewing company, Heineken International. But the other brand was Heineken. So Heineken, that's the main brand. It's manufactured by the Dutch brewing company, Heineken International. Which is in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Okay, now, someone actually sent me a gift when I was running this competition. It was Woggy Flush from Germany. He nominated a beer. It was Haferuda Mountain Beer. Okay, you see, he only got one bloody boat, right, but, but you know, what nominated by Woggy Flush, and he actually sent me a can of it. Yeah, so I'm going to give a bit of a review in regards to Haferuda. Here in Australia, there's only one way to drink beer, and that is it's got to be ice cold. So cold that you've got to wear mittens to hold the beer. Yeah, it's got to be that cold. We don't drink warm beer in Australia. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove this beer into the freezer for a couple of hours. Now you've got to be careful, you've got to take it out before the ice crystals start to form in the beer. Once the ice crystals start to form in the beer, it's basically stuffed. Okay. Okay, I'll come back in a couple of hours and get it. Okay, Hasaruda. It's Hasaruda. This started in the year 1872. This is when it was created. It was brewed in the Vermagero district of Hasserode in East Germany. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Now, since reunification, Hasaruda has it's become Hasseruda. the most consumed beer in what they call the new states of Germany. Hafaruda was purchased by the Belgium-based company Interbrew in 2002. And Hasaruda ranks number six amongst Germany's best-selling breweries. It's 4.9% alcohol content and it's what you call a Pilsner beer. Okay, it's been a couple of hours now since I put the beer in the freezer. Should be ready to drink. Got my mitten on. Oh, it's beautiful. All ready to drink. Let's do it. There we go. Hasaruda beer. I got it right that time, didn't I? <laughs> During the break, I realised I was mispronouncing the fucking beer. <laughs> Hasaruda, not Hafaruda. I just can't read, couldn't read the bloody letters properly. Okay, Hasaruda. Okay, looks like a fairly light coloured beer. I wouldn't say it's got a strong aroma to it. Okay. It does have head on it. I like beer with a bit of head. Mmm, it's got a very smooth taste. It's got a very Pilsner taste. Almost a lager. You know, it's a bit hard to tell the difference between Pilsner and lager. Yeah. Most of the beers I drink are lager. Yeah, I like, prefer the, the lagers. I don't drink much Pilsner. No. Sometimes I drink a bit of malt beer. It's not a bad drop. You can, you can drink this forever. Typical German beer. Thank you very much, Wobby Flush. Thank you for the Hasaruda. Hey, just before I go, if Anyone in the world wants to send me one of their beers, you know, like a beer that I can't get in Australia, you know, just a, an obscure brand, send it to me and I will give a review of the beer and give you a shout out in the process. Okay, catch you guys.